Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. This evening I wanted to make a video for you guys talking about uh, a subject that is very near and dear to my heart and a subject that I have extensive experience with. And that subject is, uh, that topic is the topic of step parents. So, um, <clears throat> I have seen uh, just in the last couple days, there's been some, uh, there's been a couple of videos I saw, uh, I don't know, three or four of them, three or four of them, two of them that come to mind right now, one was by, uh, Lion of MGTOW, and, um, and then one I saw today, I think was by, uh, Game Over, Game Over MGTOW, and they were talking about the same subject, and I saw a couple, I can't remember the other ones, but they were talking about the same subject, and that is, uh, apparently there's a movie that is or or has come out by Disney and uh so it's a Disney movie and it's called it's called Stepdad. <clears throat> um so for this video I, I did some some quick I, I, I covered uh I did a very cursory uh I did a little bit of research. Um and I also watched uh the review I'm sorry, I also watched the uh, the movie trailer to this movie I, I don't know what it's called. It's like, um, it, it is a movie, but it's not like a traditional movie where there's like real people, like real characters. Uh, I think it's called CGA or computer generated animation because it's not like a cartoon. It's not a cartoon. It's like, uh, I think it's called, I think it's called computer generation. Anyway. Um, yeah. So just quickly, uh, I saw this, uh, I, I watched two trailers for it and I also did some, uh, I also did some, some quick, uh, re some cursory research on the subject, and also, you know, I have an anecdotal story for you guys. So to start, uh, let's talk about this movie. Uh, it's called The Stepdad. It's by Disney, and um, you know, it's 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 a total it's total garbage. It's um, it's a propaganda piece. That's what it is. Uh, I think that this movie, after watching the review, after watching the uh, the movie trailers, I think it's fair to say that this movie it promotes. Uh, being a stepdad or being a step parent for that matter, and I think that that's a bad idea. Uh, in fact, I think that we should openly and publicly um, promote uh, families without step parents. Basically, we should we should openly talk about how step parents are bad, and that's part of the reason. That's part of the uh, point of this uh, of this little video I'm making for you guys. So. Uh, let's just start with the with the movie. So the movie basically is like, okay, it shows him. He's showing up at the front door. And, uh, this woman and he's he's looking a, a little worried. He's looking a little anxious. He opens the door. It's uh, a, a, uh, apparently his love interest, right? So it's like his girlfriend. He steps inside, and you know, it lays the foundation. It lays the idea that you know he's a stepdad, and he's spending time with these children. He's trying to build a relate. He's trying to he's trying to build up a rapport with them. Or a relationship with them, and uh, you know it's all very homely. He's wearing like this. I think it looks like it takes place. The the backdrop is like it. It's it looks like it's like the winter time, or it's like uh, it's uh, the holiday season. Um, there's a lot of Christmas themed uh, imagery. Uh, there's one. There's this one instance where he is constructing a gingerbread house with uh, with the two children, his two stepchildren. And, uh, you know, all is well, everything's great, you know. And then, through a little folly, um, I don't, I, I rewatched it, That the, I rewatched it, it's not really his fault, but he's blamed for it. There is some fumbling with the gingerbread house. Um, one of the, I think what happens quickly, the child starts, the child grabs the, the child grabs the gingerbread house and starts to fumble with it. He tries to rescue the situation by grabbing it, but then he fumbles it. It falls and it breaks. And it's just this interesting scene. I think it actually alludes to the true nature of being a step-parent. Because, well, I'll get into that in a second. But anyway, so the, the, um, the gingerbread falls, it breaks, the children see it, they explode into, they, they start crying, and then they like run off. And then it does like a montage, like a day or two days later, um, 
whatever, the kids are like walking by and he's, uh, I think he's on the couch, he's reading a book or something. And then the children look over and they see a bigger, better um, uh, gingerbread house that he made for them. And, and then, you know, they come over and they start snuggling and they're so happy and he fixed the situation. And um, yeah, yeah, I think that that's an illusion, actually. They're, they're, they're really just, they're, they're alluding to how it really is. Um, see, because the, the step-parent is going to be blamed. I think the idea is like, you know, again, just take the idea that it's a home. It's a gingerbread house, right? And, and so it's like the idea that these kids, they come from a broken home. This is just, this is just me. This is just me ranting. This is just me like, you know, thinking like, you know trying to do like deep psychoanalysis on this um you know it's essentially like the kids come from like a broken home and then he comes along and he builds a bigger better home and so you know the idea is that the idea is that he's a step parent and he's he's helping out and he's he's built he's building a better future for these children that's that's what i got from that i mean it's just a gingerbread home you know but it's just a scene where a gingerbread house breaks but no 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 if you know if you want to get deep into the psychology of it um so yeah, I'm sorry. Just to finish up with the with the with the movie review, there's this movie. It's called Stepdad. It's by Disney. Um, it it openly promotes uh, simpery and cuckoldry uh, for men. Also interesting, just to know, it plays up a racial angle because he's black, but the whole family is white or like white-ish. I don't know. For all I know, they could be Hispanic or something. You know, like uh, they could be like you know, Mexican or something for all I know, but, uh, they're like white, white ish and he's black. And, um, so that they push, they push like racial, um, you know, ra race mixing for what, for what it's worth. And I've mentioned that in other videos. Um, uh, and, and it just promotes, in my opinion, it promotes, um, being a set parent. And I, I am against that. I am openly and publicly against that. And so, um, yeah, to segue that into, uh, uh the, the second part of my video, I wanted to talk about, uh, just a little research that I've done on that subject. Um, so, um, I remember hearing that, um, I can't remember, I can't remember where I heard this. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I heard it or I read it, but I, I thought I remember hearing that step parents, a step parent is like, uh, a step parent is 100 times more likely to murder a stepchild than, than he or she would be to uh, murder his his own or or her own biological child, and apparently that is true. I, I did some quick research. Um, so it's called uh, in in the world of psychology or in the world of uh, evolutionary psychology. This is called the Cinderella effect, or this or the Cinderella syndrome. According to the Cinderella syndrome, uh, it is observable in in scientific in, in in psychological literature that for some reason um step parents are statistically much more likely to engage in abusive behavior towards their stepchildren and this is this is confirmed at this point there there is a mountain of scientific evidence to show this uh and then you know the they they give you know they give theories as to why this is uh and I, I think the basic theory, according to Cinderella, the Cinderella effect or the Cinderella syndrome, it um, it opines, it posits the idea that essentially the step parent, uh, the step parent does not, uh, the step parent ends up showing um, uh, disfavor to the stepchild because the stepchild is not biologically his or hers, and so there is this resistance to want to invest. Uh, you know, time or money, or resources into that child when they'd rather just keep those resources and time for themselves. Or if they have their own child, they'd rather spend the, the money, uh, the money on their own child, the, the, the time and money and investment in, in in or on their own child as opposed to uh, a stepchild. So the stepchild ends up feeling alienated and mistreated, uh, and and it is, <laughs> and it is, because because uh, frankly, it's not loved. That's really what it gets to. And of course, of course, I'm sorry, I, don't, I forgot to mention this, the Cinderella effect or Cinderella syndrome, um, and that's, that, that's, a, that's a technical term, by the way, uh, also comes from another Disney movie, 
Uh, you guys, I'm sure, are aware of the movie uh, uh, Cinderella. Cinderella, another Disney movie, is a movie where you have this uh, this girl who's a stepdaughter. She has stepsisters and a stepmother, and they walk all over her. They mistreat her. They, you know, dump on her, um, and, um, you know, they just they treat her like trash. They give her all the menial jobs. She's... Uh, uh, essentially, they abuse her. She's stuck in an abusive uh, environment. And, uh, you know, we all know the rest of the story. You know, there's a glass slipper, and she tries to break free of her situation. She meets a prince, and da-da-da-da-da, you know, she goes to the ball. But uh, but the point, the point to be made is that, um, yeah, wrapping all this up. So this movie, um, this movie, The Stepdad, is just, uh, it's a terrible, it, to me, I've, I've not seen it, but it looks terrible. I watched, I saw the movie reviews, it looks terrible. I believe it promotes cuckoldry, I believe it promotes simpery. Um, you know, I can't help but notice, you know, it tries to paint the idea that, like, you know, being a stepdad is, is noble, and it's good, and, and, and it's, it's gonna, it, it's gonna, you know, it's, you, you're gonna, you're gonna take a broken home, you know, the, uh, you know, the allegory I was using where, you know, the, the father, you know, the kids, but actually, you know, the father, oh, what's it, it breaks the, the, the gingerbread home and then he fixes it and it's bigger and better. And, you know, the idea that a step parent is going to fix the home, I think is false. Um, and apparently the scientific literature, the science, uh, the, the data backs that up. Um, children are much more, much more unhappy uh, with step, with a step parent. Uh, the step parent does. The step parent does not love the child, frankly. Um, and um, yeah, you guys can look it up. It's called uh, the Cinderella effect. The Cinderella. Eff- I'm sorry, I can't remember if it's the Cinderella effect or, or the Cinderella syndrome. It's one of those two. And it, it's ba- it's a theory in. Um, it, it, but it's, it's, see, it's a theory, but it's a theory backed by evidence. It has a lot of evidence to buttress what it's saying. It's a theory that posits that the step parent. Um, is statistically much more uh, likely to harm, abuse, or kill, or cause damage to the stepchild um, for for a number of reasons that it, it then develops, as and, and a couple I just gave right now. So you know, in closing, yeah, uh, step. Oh, and you know what? I, just quickly, let, let me let me add my anecdotal story. You know, I come from a family with a stepmother. I had a stepmother. I always found my stepmother to be very abusive. Um, yeah, no joke. She would always treat me like trash, put down slights. My father, he saw it, but he looked the other way. And I think that's because, frankly, she was she was abusive to him, too, uh, in, a, in a very, you know, sick way. I think that my father almost felt a little bit better when she would yell at me or abuse me because that means that, you know, that at least, at least he's not the one being yelled at, you know, today. And, uh... You know, whatever. That's that's very that's dysfunctional. But yeah, that's that's uh, that was my experience. It was very negative. I wouldn't say that she she loved me, and it became increasingly um, obvious when she finally had her own child with my father. Uh, she showed a lot of love to to her daughter, um, but yeah, she was totally unloving to me. So it became even more stark. It became even more obvious to me. Um, yeah, and, and I'm, you know, and it's an interesting situation. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even saying that you can necessarily blame a step parent. Think about how the step parent feels. You know, like it's just natural to love your own children as opposed to you know some someone that isn't biologically yours. But if that's true, should not we then realize? Should not we as a society then recognize and acknowledge that step parenting is bad, and that we should not seek to do that? But then that gets in the deeper issues like, you know, for example, you know, my stepmom, she was she was in her, I think, what, late 30s? She was in her she was in her 30s by the time she met my father. You know, she she had hit the wall. You know, she uh she had she had run, my my stepmom um, my stepmom was a very uh licentious woman. She was a very lascivious woman, if you will. Uh, she, she was a wanton character, if that makes any sense. And, um, you know, 
no she she had ridden she had ridden the cc hard and uh you know fr frankly what i'm trying to say is you know she had hit the wall and she found out that increasingly no one no one wanted her yeah people would have fun with her but no one would, no one wanted to write a check against that no one wanted to marry her so the best she could do was my father uh, a mexican immigrant with three children right i mean if you're a woman and you you want to get married aren't you going to try to choose the best possible man well maybe maybe you know the best men never wanted her so you know think about think about that if the the best you can do is a man who already has you know three children and he's an immigrant you know it's like huh are you settling i don't know but but it just 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 the idea that like the step parent you know the step parent is just not the concept of creating a family using a step parent in my opinion is never ideal because it just brings in it heightens the possibility for all this dysfunction and that <clears throat> and that has been my experience so that's that's basically it that's all I wanted to say so yeah um guys you know don't don't believe don't believe propaganda like this that being a step parent is good it's something to aspire to it's noble you're you're saving you're helping you're you're taking a, a a broken family and you're 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 fixing it into a bigger better family and and you're you know this is noble and you're good no 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 you're going to be hated you're going to be resented and for good reason and then you're going to come to hate and resent the stepchildren and it's just a recipe for disaster and frankly uh i think it's uh i don't know um socially irresponsible i think it's socially irresponsible for you know a corporation like disney to promote that kind of behavior to promote that kind of uh familial uh structure so but that's why i see it as propaganda Prop remember propaganda is used to harm it's used to uh it's used to damage it's used to demoralize you so anyway yeah that's basically it um guys uh if you like my content please like please com please like please comment please subscribe and please please share and i'll leave it there all right guys take care